Fold a blanket and say good morning. The neighborhood on the freeway is bright. Cook your eggs on my angel kitchen. Come by later for story time. I have people who come back to me and say, well, you, you said, who, who is Polly Murray? You know, why, why'd you say that? And I'm like, this is a bad sister. This woman is worthy of mention, a woman that was worthy of praise. This woman was our woman. Oh, freedom. Oh, freedom. Yes. Oh, freedom. Oh, me. Yes. You know, I'm not sure why she's not known, because I didn't know about her until I came to Durham as well. Right. You know, I mean, we hear about Sojourner, we hear about Harriet, we hear, we hear, but we, we haven't heard about her. And I just think that enough people haven't spoken her name okay. enough. Okay. Growing up in Birmingham, Alabama, we often heard about Rosa Parks or you know, when, when it came to being a woman who didn't give up her seat on the bus. Polly Murray is such an incredible person, so you have to be very careful in the way you describe her. I started to learn small things, and I want to learn more and more and more. She didn't let a closed door be the thing that stopped her from moving. Okay, you close one door, then I'll go and I'll open up another one. There's going to be people who have something to say about the way you look, or how you talk or what you have to say, but that doesn't mean you stop saying it. Um, and that's one of the things I really learned from her. She inspires me by being a person that wouldn't allow herself to be pushed around. She took people as they were. She didn't, she knew what it felt like to have other people want to mold you into being a certain type of person. So she, she didn't try to do that to other people and I could appreciate that. The more you actually embrace yourself, the more you will be able to embrace other people. And because we're all connected. I study women like Sojourner. And I studied women like Maya. And women like the female Moses, yes. Harriet Tubman. And the women like Paula, One of the main things I would want people to know is that she was not a quitter. She would not give up. Even when somebody said no, even though she couldn't get in Harvard, she still went to another school. Mm -hmm. You know, it, whenever uh, she met a roadblock, she didn't let that stop her. She didn't stop right there and say, oh, well, well. That's how society is, I mm. guess I just, she went and found another route. Mm. She found, it may not have been the way she wanted to go, but she still found another route. Mm. Who you trying to be like? Polly Murray. Struggle through a huge part of her life, through her identity, trying to figure out who it is that she was supposed to be, who it is that she was trying to be. The assignment is go and look up what else about her that makes her very, um, not just interesting, but a pioneer, a trendsetter, a groundbreaker, you know, all of that. And then when they come back and they're like, wait, I didn't know all this about her. And I'm like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Learning about her could really start some stuff, man. It could start a revolution knowing about her. Sometimes a revolution just starts with one person. And especially when it gets to young people, it will take off like this. I feel like they don't teach us enough about people like her. And before I be a slave, I'll be buried in my grave and go home to my Lord and be free. Yes, freedom. Yes. A lot of times I'll open with that song, Freedom Over Me. Before I be a slave, I'll be buried in my grave and go home with my Lord and be free. And, and the reason why I sang that is because 
for me, that was Paulie's theme song hmm. for her life. I'm going to be free. Before you make me a slave to your ideologies, before you make me a slave to who you think I should be, before you try to make me a slave to your opinions of me, I'll die fighting. And then I'll go home, and then I'll really be free. The Imp, the Dude Crusader. 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 Born in 1910, to Agnes and William. Yep. Called you Pauline, you a gift that God gave them. Right. November 20th, hard times you have plenty. Uh. Who would do what you did? No, no, not in it, oh, but plenty. Come on. We'll benefit from the fights you fought, you fought. from the lies you helped, you helped. and the debt you bought. you bought. Coming to North Cat, North Cat. the room that is, Jim Crow was real, and the time that you lived would make it hard for this leader you to live. Wanted to go to UNC. See. Thanks in the. AACP for making her fight known, but she didn't get in.